Hi guys, Frasen here. Welcome back to another episode of Knights of Dragon. So, what happened this weekend? I didn't, ju I just didn't feel like making any videos. I'm sorry about it, but it's just like I, I want to make videos whenever I feel like it. And honestly, this week I promise, and I usually don't go by promises, but this time for fucking once, you guys are getting either Clash Royale or Clash of Clans or Clash Saturday. And on Sunday you will get your honey pop, and we will finish it before fucking summer break uh, ends. So, what what do we want to talk about as of now? Well, you can clearly see that I'm on my, on my EU account because that's the only fucking <laughs> that's the only fucking Shadow Forge that I got up here is the Aki's bounty. So, yeah, I can't really put the Aki's bounty on my global all of a sudden because that would uh, smell like hypocrisy and all that. Sort of shit. So you can clearly see that I'm still wearing a fucking epic. That's my. I think that is that my bad. Yeah, because it's kinda. But doesn't really matter. What I want to do is talk about EU uh, being the new global, uh, but just a bit better and worse at the same time. So it's kind. It's kind of weird when you say it like that, but it is true. And it's like the, the weather out here is very nice, but it's so like windy. You know, there's there's like a small. St storm winds kind of thing going on here but anyway you can uh, see that I have 50 million so we do have enough uh, we do have enough gold to do this so yeah you can see that I have all this Dragonforge right here what I want to do is just fuse this away while I talk about uh, the EU and global comparison and everything that I did earlier now we all know that the milestones and uh, the ribbons and everything were uh, different from global uh, back in the day. We, we all know that, right? I mean, we, we saw that those two, uh, like, the two servers were different. Ever since, I think two weeks ago or something, they have spiced up the entire schedule on how they actually make uh, their stuff. <laughs> with, with that I mean, like, the ribbons have changed, the milestones have also changed in this. Uh, Jesus Christ, I can't even do anything with that. Okay. But, yeah, you, you you also saw that, yeah, Jesus, 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 why are you doing this to me, Jesus? Uh, what the fuck? I thought, I, uh, okay, I see. But, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of fucking up here, my bad. But, what I want to talk about is, as I already said, like, Ah, oh, that's a fucking Genoforge, that's Critcher Skelma or something, yeah, that's a uh, nice, I like this one, I really just, and I re yeah, I really do, yeah, let's just say it like that, I really like this one. Now, um, I want to put you over here, and can I put Critcher Skelma, yeah, I can put, okay. Um, <laughs> I honestly thought that I was going to do some more fusions, because I thought that I would have some more, I was going to have some more Dragonforge instead of that, but instead we got a live Critcher Skelma, so that's good as well. But yeah, you guys uh, actually know uh, that the, the EU server has changed to the global server as of lately. Because the ribbons, the milestones, everything is exactly the same. And what do I mean with that? Like, well, let's just go to the build war. You can, you can see it right here. And yeah, apparently Freedom of Wind is uh, currently farming me. And that's because uh, I don't really have any, like, good armors to just put on. But... Hey, we're not talking about that for now. Hey, Rogue Mode is back, by the way, on uh, EU, for those of you who don't know yet, but... Here are the milestones for, like, EU. They, they were different, you know, where, like, you, you, you could see that uh, they, 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 they are exactly the same right now, uh, compared to Global. And um, with that I mean really exactly the same. And I thought that EU was going to focus on the free-to-play more, but seeing these milestones, you know, the Dragon Coins are gone. Maybe they will spice this up, I do not know about that. But uh, the dragon coins, all the dragon horns, all the like all the materials that they had for the dragon forge here are gone. You know, you can only see the shadow forge material. So where are the dragon for where are the dragon coins? You know, I can see you, of course you can still find them in arena, I believe. Are there hopefully it's still the same. Yeah. So you can still find them here, but you could get like two, three dragon coins in the milestones from the Y and now you can get zero. So why did they do that? You know, that's that's. I don't even know why they did it, but I'm just asking, like, why? Because <laughs> I know that they are outdated, but shouldn't they be up there somewhere? Also, the dragon coins on like the global version, you know, the shadow, the first shadow forge season. Like, where are they gone? You know, the first two seasons that you can't get them anywhere anymore, and really, we really need 
a way to uh, craft old Shadow Forge. Now I know that you can get Dragon Coins as well as the old Shadow Forge from the Spider Chest on Global, but here they are making the old Dragon Forge less and less, yeah, probable to get, <laughs> which is quite unfortunate because they are com completely focusing on the same thing here as they are doing on Global, which is money. And I thought that the EU was going to focus on more and more free to play. You can also see that right here. All the, these milestones have also changed to uh, the exact same thing as in uh, fucking global. And yeah, you can see that there's a little difference uh, with the milestones. But like, I thought that uh, the EU and global were going to have its own differences, and that that I know that like the this version, like the EU version, would have to slowly catch up, but I think that EU has started to fall, even though, like, um, this fucking, le the, the entire leaderboard, you can see the right here, the, the entire leaderboard is still going very, very nice, you know, <laughs> but it feels to me that the concept of what was uh, for a, the EU server is slowly starting to crumble, you know, that agree, because uh, we saw that free-to-play players also had a chance, but now I see that they changed the milestones, they changed everything, you know, now, now it's less probable to get some Dragon Coins from somewhere, because I don't even know how to lead it, well, how this actually looks, um, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it, okay, yeah, so this is the same as well, and yeah, you can, you can see that it's getting less and less, um, distributed, you know, those coins, the first seasons, and is that wrong? No, I, I don't really mind uh, <laughs> that Green is doing this, uh, but like I I thought that the concept of Knights of Dragons uh, EU was like focusing more on some free-to-play players as well, but ever since I saw that uh, the milestones had changed from uh, the good the good like distributing stuff to whatever the fuck is going on now, like I already have my doubts on if that concept is still going to be the thing that I used to know and love, and same goes for you guys, because you guys, most of you guys are on EU, so it could be free to play, but I know that some of you are actually going to jam as well with this, uh, with all this, you know, and I, I know that Gree isn't really making it easy for you guys <laughs> to, like, get your armors for free, but, like, this is even just making it worse, let's, yeah, let's just say it like that, it's just making it worse, you know, that things aren't really distributed anymore, and, Green really has to fix this type of stuff, and what instead what they are doing is like getting more events out instead of focusing on focusing on the old things first, you know, and getting that up. No, instead they focus on the other stuff, you know, that makes money. I get that, you know, a company needs money, but th does this company not earn enough money? Is that what you're telling me? You know, that don't they have enough revenue but now to just do some new stuff with this game, or does that go towards the other games? You know that they don't have like a capital, working capital to work for Nazi and Dragons and then just put it like to Game of War or whatever the other games are called. So yeah, I believe that the concept of EU is slowly fading away. The only thing that you can still get the Dragon Coins and the, 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 the other, all the Dragon Forge material seasonals from are like Arena. That, that's about it. That's the only thing that's still standing. And Arena on like Global is already fucked up because that, that where are the Dragon Coins? I really just need my Dragon Coins. I know that the Shadow Force materials are in there as well, though, in Arena. So people are actually going for that, which is quite nice from Greed to do. But, like, I still need two of those uh, Shade Essences on the Global. And then I have a new Shadow Force. And I don't really uh, have... I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have any... I, I can't get it, because it's nowhere to be found. And I know that you should focus more on the newer armors, but give the old armors a little... Adds up to you know that the, the older Shadow Forge, the oldest Shadow Forge, like manipulators, Soul Plate, and whatever, they are, they still got their materials in the Spider Key chest. And what what do we have on like, uh, or what where are the Shade Essences and everything? You know, those are the older materials now as well. So what I want to do is just focus on this and see what we can actually get. And yeah, you can see that you can actually get all Dragon Forge materials from here. So this is a good chest, you know, but. Where are the other chests? I know that I, I've also seen some kind of um, chest that says like uh, get your older uh, Shadow Forge here, but yeah, that's not really uh, a thing. <laughs> it's not really just a big thing. 
because, uh, you know, the, the chance of getting that is almost zero. And the spider, the, the spider chest on Global Ball is a little bit shit as well, because, uh, like, when you open, like, maybe, let's just say, 11 chests, I think 8 to 10 are going to be guaranteed that you are going to get an enchanted key. So, it's nice, because enchanted keys actually do still give you the opportunity to, like, um, get some gems, but the gem amount is the same amount uh, as you get like uh, your Shadowforge materials in the spider key chest, so almost zero. Yeah, I was hoping that that future frenzy would last for at least five minutes or something, but instead I uh, I really don't, don't have anything anymore. It's nice that I refuse the creature skill mill, as I stated, and that thing is a beast at level one, Jesus. I, w I mean, we can enhance it, but like... I'm, I'm, I can do two things at the same time, you know, it's, it's kind of confusing for me as well, as for you guys, uh, but I know I don't think it's uh, very confusing for you guys, but it's very confusing for me, because I need to do two things at the same time, you know, I'm talking, and all of a sudden I'm also doing this, and then sometimes you just don't know anymore what the hell you're doing, and you're like, what the fuck was I doing again, and then you can find it, and blah blah blah, you know how that song ends. So level 25 already with the, with those fusion boosts. Let's just put all of these fusion moves in there as well. Yeah, I mean, we got like 50 million anyway, so who gives a flying fuck? But, yeah, you can see that we are going up very fast with this armor, level 36 already. And this is just with a couple fusion moves, you know? I just got this armor. You guys know it, I, I just uh, <laughs> fuse it brand, brand new, you know? Or brand new in some way, of course. Are we going to make level 50? Uh, let's see, level 45? Maybe, because this gets a little bonus in terms of XP, level 48. Maybe, 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 maybe. Is that going to be level 50? Yeah, that's going to be level 50. There we go, creature skill mail maxed. Or I meant maxed, uh, yet the final form before the ascension. I guess second final form. This is not Dragon Ball Z, by the way, so there's no real final final form or something. And uh, what are the stats, actually? Okay, they look much better already. They look much, much better. Jesus Christ, 4800. I think the stats went up with... The I think 1500 total or something, but hey, anyway, uh, so my opinion or the conclusion uh, from this video is, like, I, w I was already saying uh, that I was going to talk about uh, how uh, the concept of EU is slowly fading away, because the concept was focusing more on free-to-play players, and with all the global versions coming in, you know, with the milestones, the ribbons and everything, that concept is slowly fading as well as well. Because also the ribbons don't they don't even focus on anything anymore like it's it just really the entire fucking you can clearly see this right here it's it's the entire fucking global it, it, it looks like I'm in global as of now except it's on global because you can see it by the guilds and everything <laughs> that's it's met by moonlight so that's my EU guild and that's the only thing that, that like or it's, maybe it's a good Photoshop but <laughs> hey I, I just don't know what to think of this, you know, I, I want that EU was going to be something different rather than global, but it's slowly turning into a second global, with even better fusions even. Because honestly, EU still has the privilege of Korea or fusing Shadowforged with Dragonforged, and does global have that? No. You know, I, I, even the tiniest of chances if, if we can get Dragonforge from, or Shadowforge from Dragonforge, even the tiniest of chances, if Greed puts that in, I'm already going to be a happier person, because we all know that Global is still life, Global is love and everything. And you, man, it's, it's, it's not bad, I'm, I'm, but it's, it's just there, you know, it, it's just something extra that I, that I sometimes do. And yeah, that's what this video is all about. Is the concept of your EU slowly fading away? Yes. Because the Dragonforge materials, that, that's where they were based on, you know? And the Shadowforge are out, I get it, but, like, it's more focusing on, like, EU had its own ways of doing stuff. And well, what, it, what happened now is they just looked up to Global and they said, like, can we take this from you? You know, and then Global was like, sure, just take it. And now we have this, and I I think that EU was good because it it had its own concept, it had it had its own things, and now that it's slowly stealing everything from global, it's just going to be global 2.0. I mean, I mean, yeah, it, I don't I don't know how you guys feel like this is, but 
I feel like this is global 2.0 or going to be global 2.0 soon enough and is that a bad thing? Not necessarily but I thought that EU was going to be different from global instead of going to be a second global <laughs> and now I see that it's just going to be another global should, why would I still play on two different servers if they're both the same anyway, you know, it's, it's, that, that's the weird thing for me. But yeah, on the other hand, I have a gold with over like 20 members to run and indie of course, so there's not, no real troubles in here. And yeah, we can, I think we can top to, yeah, we can top to 100, right? Yeah, well, yeah, of course we're here, okay. <laughs> yeah, we really fucked up this one because these guys are strong. I mean, all of, the, the, these are all... These guys, they all have alts, and they can all beat me quite easily, and it's all the exact same lineup that they have with, in terms of armors. It's really fucked up for me, because I, yeah, now I have two Shadow Forge. I can, I can also put creature skill mail in, right? But for who do I want to do that? Um, yeah, let's just uh, get fucked me out of here. There we go. And then I want to put you in the middle, and there we go, now. Now we are somewhat stronger, hopefully. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's see, can we do some better? Uh, nope. And can we do some better here? Nope. Okay, so I do have some strong jewelry, but that's about all I have. So, like I said, is it fading away? I don't want it to fade away. I don't want the concept of EU fading away, because they were focused on pretty much everybody, and now uh, Global was, is focusing more on like the pay to players, you know, the, 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 the runs, you know, focusing more on the money. I didn't want Global to be like that, but yeah, we both know that I am not sponsored by Greed. Greed doesn't even know that I exist. And I hope, hopefully you guys realize that as well, because sometimes people come to me and they say, like, are you in contact with Greed? And I'm like, <laughs> contact with Greed, you know, uh, the only thing I, uh, I have contact with them in, is in terms of like, when I want when I want something from them, you know, not when they want something from me. And yeah, I don't really have a lot of influence on this game or the way it's played, but that doesn't mean like that I'm not here, you know. I mean I almost I'm already at twenty three hundred and fucking forty subscribers by now. Like, shouldn't I have a little saying? Cause that's a lot for this damn game, because there's about one hundred thousand people that play, but I think that uh, what, whenever I say or what I say is for another video. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your opinions about EU uh, being the new global in like the comments down below, of course. So guys, thanks for watching. Share this video with everybody and I hope to see you all again next time.